Good morning. This is a good opportunity to present to you our uh, consortium, which is called Piri Piri U. As you can see, it like it's like a word Chile, it's like Africa, but really Piri Piri means like partners enhancing resilience to people exposed to risk, and this is a consortium in Africa. And then today, I'm, for this conference, I'm presenting the, the uh, consortium. And the title is African Higher Education Institutions in Advancing Disaster Risk Reduction, a model for post-2015 for capacity building. And I'm presenting on behalf of the consortium. And I would like to ask the partners here present to raise their hands, please, or stand up. Thanks to people to see the, all the uh, partners of Piri Piri U. Thank you very much. Then let us think back to 2006. In Africa, we were faced all the gaps when there was nothing called disaster risk reduction, or very, very short. Then in skilled disaster risk management, human resources, locally and nationally, and in the risk reduction scholarship in African higher education institutions. There was not such a thing called that. In DRR-related academic programs, they should have been relevant, robust, and responsive. Plus, in risk research capacity to support local risk management. Then we struggled to find a solution for that, gaps. A solution because academically, the disaster risk domain is complex. It can be disciplinary and multidisciplinary. And transdisciplinary, it must integrate knowledge across different disciplines, but it should actively engage in scholarship and practice. We had few resources. Many countries had fragile higher education infrastructure in all Africa. Then we struggled even more to figure out how could we build an appropriate DRR, knowledge management architecture, for different risks, disciplines, languages, cultures, organizations, and contexts in Af the African continent. So we could align our efforts with those of other interest groups. But so we could not limit our responsiveness, innovation, and prospects for sustainability. So we experimented with multiple higher education pathways, as short courses, academic models, or even lessons. Different disciplines, for instance, geography, engineering, environmental health, urban planning. Different risk, like earthquake risk, public health, urban flood, and fire risks. A growing number of partners, and we learned from each other. And you can see here all the partners going from uh, Ethiopia to uh, Kenya to, Tan to Tanzania to uh, Uganda to Madagascar, to Mozambique, to South Africa, to Nigeria, to Senegal, to Ghana, to Senegal, and for, for also for Algeria in the north. Then we have, you know, like uh, Francophone countries, Anglophone countries, working all together and learning from each other. For example, in Tana, at the University of uh, Tana Nanarivo in Madagascar, multidisciplinary disaster and risk management masters program from 2010, collaboratively designed with government, NGOs, and UN organizations. 30 to 40 students intake, 80% working professionals, 35% of women. It was like four models, three semesters, six months practical research, and a dissertation at the end of the, of the study. And you can see uh, our team in Madagascar for this uh, uh, program. From, from 2011 to 2014, 
That is what we grew. Short courses, we had like 57 short courses. Like we have 1,417 participants, academic programs and model 18. And we had like 80, 170 students registered for that DRR. For publication, like 70, 67 articles. And for the all publication, we had like a number of 94. A numerous new disaster risk related postgraduate program. And we have here some of them like risk identification and assessment, disaster risk management, health and health facilities, capacity development, urban risk planning, <coughs> and uh, gender. And you have the percentage here over the publication 2011 2014. What we have learned, the value of, prog of the program diversity. Some nested in disciplines, example, Makiriri in Uganda in health, Stellenbosch University in geography and environment, UDM in, in Mozambique in education, USTSB in Algeria in engineering, and some that are cross-disciplinary, as Ardi in, uh, in uh, uh, Tanzania, and BD, uh, in, uh, Bahirdar University in Ethiopia, Gaston Berger University in uh, Senegal and uh, uh, IBU in Nigeria and Tana of course in Madagascar. That is innovative grounded and response to local needs and enables breakthrough in new DRM programs. Like this master course in uh, public uh, Makiri University of Masters of Public Health and Disaster Management, Gaston Berger Master in, Pre uh, in Prevention the gestion des risques liés à la sécurité alimentaire en Afrique. <coughs> and what is as meant practically for us as African higher education institutions. You can core teaching staff surges, and you have here the student, student enrollment rises from 2006 when we started the, the program, when it was very, very few, to now we can see 2013 about 400 and more than 450 people. Core staffing was going from 41 in 2011 to 120 in 2015. That's 42% fully funded by university budget, which means the sustainability of the program. What, it, what this means practically for the disaster risk management practice new forms of human capital. For example, 1,550 Bachelor of Science degree in DRM, student enrolled at BDU since 2005, and 170 MDRM students, also short courses. You have new risk knowledge for planning and implementation, and you can see here, uh, for example, here uh, we can see Algeria with earthquakes, we can see uh, Senegal with the uh, uh, um, soil, and, uh, and you can see, uh, I believe, uh, uh, Stellenbosch. <coughs> so what, where do our graduates go when they, when they finish graduation? Example in Tana, in Madagascar, you can see public institution, they go to prime minister office unit, responsible for DRR or food security. They go to the Ministry of Internal Affairs, Bureau responsibility for disaster and risk management, local government responsible for disaster risk management, UN agencies like UNFPA, UNICEF, UNDP, private sector, national tourism office, NGOs like International CRS Care and, and all the others, national like Malagasy Red Cross, Malagasy, Reformed Church Unit for Social Development, Development. This is where our our uh, students, when they finish, where they go. This means they are in the decision-making process. They are inside now. And now, which is good now, you know, after this work and the achievement, now and now we are connected globally. Now we are an international center of excellence to the IRDR Integrated Research on Disaster Risk Program, which is supported by ICSU, ISSC, the Social Science, and UNSDR. 
And you can see here, we have in the United States, <coughs> oh. we have one in the United States. This is vulnerability at the University of South Carolina in the States. We have here in England, the RIA, Risk Interpretation and Action at King's College in UK. We have here in South America, in National University of Columbia for underst understanding the risk. We have here in uh, New Zealand, in, ta in Taipei, at the at Taipei, at the Sci Academy of Science. We have here at the New Zealand Joint Center for Disaster Research, Massey. And of course, we have the, the, the largest international center of excellence for Africa, where the 11 countries, 11 universities, and all the laboratories. This is the Piri Piri U Consortium. And you have here the, the names of, these are the, the International Center of Excellence under the, the IRDR program. We believe that we have cracked the code on risk education curricula. There is no one size fits all the curriculum. This model is simultaneously incremental and transformative. It's inclusive and innovative. And, but just one thing funding, just one thing, funding to nurture young talent in disaster risk management and disaster risk science. Unlike other fields, there is no student funding. Our experiment to begin our experiment that began nearly 10 years ago, 2006, has cracked the code on incrementally building disaster risk capacity in Africa, in those 11 countries, quietly built a solid multilingual architecture for extending disaster risk related capacity, building in Africa and to link this globally, as we are now called for me, in many occasions by the United Nations uh, has taught us the value of being connected at all scales. That is why we are all here today. And here you see in the own language how this education is going on in all the countries. This is, if you want to know more about Piri Piri U, you can go to www.riskreductionafrica.org. And now we have a booklet here here you can have this booklet, on physical booklet on paper. But if you'd like to know more about Piri Piri U, if you want to know even more, come to our session tomorrow on 16 March at the Tokyo Electron Hall from 9 to 12. This is the Piri Piri U, and, and the time, I think it's elapsed. And I thank you, all of you, thank you very much for attending. Thank you very much. <laughs>